Alrighty, in this video, hope all is well. In this video, we are going to solve equations uh, that are written in factored form. So we're going to solve equations that are written in factored form. Uh, so when we have equations that are written in factored form, let's say just hypothetically, we have a times b equals zero. That tells me for that to be true that either A has to be equal to zero or B has to be equal to zero. So we're going to use that idea to solve these equations. Uh, so we have the factors uh, 4V, V minus one and V plus three. So I'm going to say 4V equals zero. And I'm just going to set each factor equal to zero. And I could really split up the four and the V as well, but I'm not here. So I'll set each one of the factors equal to zero. And then once you set each one of the factors equal to zero, you solve each one of those equations. So to solve this equation, we need to divide by four. To solve V minus one equals zero, we need to add one to each side. And to solve this equation, we need to subtract three from each side. So we have the answers 0, 1, or negative 3. 0, 1, or negative 3. It says if there is more than one solution, separate them with commas for Alex. So we would say 0, or 1, or negative 3. So that means if we replace V with either, with either of those numbers, then the equation would be true. All right, so here, solve an equation written in factor form. We have 2w plus 7 times uh, 5 minus w equals 0. So it's already factored, so I'm going to set each one of those factors equal to 0 and solve. Okay, so subtract 7 from each side. Divide both sides by 2. negative seven halves. Here, subtract five from each side. So that's understood to be negative one W remaining on that left-hand side. Divide both sides by negative one to isolate the W. So negative five divided by negative one is positive one. So my two answers are negative seven halves or one. All right, so let's look at another one here. Here we have negative three times V plus four times negative V minus three equals zero. So we have everything on one side set equal to zero and everything on that left-hand side, that's left-hand side is completely factored. So from here, I just set each factor equal to zero. just like that. Now negative 3 equals 0. This does not have a variable with it and that's not true so we don't do anything with that. We don't get an answer from that. And the way you, sh you will know the amount of answers you will have will be uh, to look at see how many variables you have in the expression. Sometimes the answers will be the same uh, but that's the general rule. If you look and see you have two V's in this expression you should have two answers. So here add three to each side. Again, that's understood to be negative one V. Divide both sides by negative one. So V equals negative four or V equals negative three. 